Super Smash Bros. Ultimate's World of Light mode has not had an easy life. When it was first unveiled close to the game's release during a Smash Direct, it caused contention within the fanbase. Some believed that Smash was getting a proper story-driven adventure in the game once again. Others, however, did not believe that this mode would live up to the standards that Brawl set with the Subspace Emissary. Indeed, when the game hit the shelves and people ventured through World of Light, they may have been disappointed by the low amount of story elements and cutscenes, instead having to settle for fighting battles to make themselves believe that they are fighting various rejects that didn't make the cut for the playable roster. It seemed as though World of Light would simply be forgotten about, left to be taking dust in the history books of the franchise. This game mode's fortune changed one fateful day, however, when internet sensation Alpharad coined a challenge known today as the World of Light Nuzlocke, or Lightlock to be more concise. The premise seemed simple on the surface, to go through World of Light, getting as many fighters as it was possible to get. If one fighter were to lose a battle for any reason, they were to be removed, never to be selected again. Much like the Pokemon challenge that its namesake takes from. Since that day, many individuals both on and off of YouTube have no doubt tried their hand at this Herculean gauntlet, hoping to get their names in the history books as part of those who have completed this incredible challenge. And now it's my turn. Greetings everyone, and welcome to the video idea that I thought I would ring in 1000 subs with. We're going for an old classic, The World of Light, Nuzlocke. If you're familiar with the concept, then I won't need to explain too much, but basically we are going to be operating on permadeath rules. So if a fighter is eliminated, they are gone forever. You've probably seen a bunch of runs before, and now it's my turn to enter the fray with a run of my own. But before we get started, I am going to lay down some rules for this. So much like a typical World of Light Nuzlocke, I'm going to start a new game of World of Light on hard difficulty. As I said before, it's permadeath, so if a fighter loses, then they are gone forever. No takesies backsies on that one. This is not where the rules end, though. On top of everything else, I'm going to be going for 100% completion, so I'll be getting every spirit, every character, every ending, you name it. That way we have a lot more chances for Doom and Gloom later. And to make sure that it's not a complete steamroll, I'm going to match the spirit quality in my team to that of the opponent's spirit. So if they have a 2 star, then I can only use 2 star spirits. If they have 3 star, I can use 3 star and so on and so forth. The exceptions to this rule are character battles, boss battles, and master spirits. In which case I can just use whatever. And we have a nice, clean file to use, so let's just jump into it. Of course, this is the beginning of World of Light, so you know what that means. Alright, we are here and ready to start our World of Light full Nuzlocke. What could go wrong? Uh, I don't think we'll need any spirits for this, right? Oh wait, I don't have my controls on for this, whoops. Oh well, I'll fix it after this battle. Alright, clearly I'm gonna need the star rod for this. I was going to disrespect him with it, but that's cool. Okay, I think I'm going to need to add spirits, otherwise I might just get steamrolled later. 
Luckily, I have some prepped spirits just for this occasion. Eh, we'll do this for the dash attack, why not? That was easy. It's all about tactics in something like this, because you need to make use of everything at your arsenal. As such. Ah, here we go, the first character unlock. Nintendo, you don't need to do this, I'm not a baby. Alright, Mario, you're mine. <laughs> Going for disrespect in this is a lot more risky, but I'm Kirby, I, ma I make it work. Alright, this is where I need to respec a little. Luckily, I have some advanced spirits I can use, particularly that of strong throws. I'm sure you can see my strategy here. There we go, just never let him get the opportunity to attack me. That's how you cheese fights like this. There we go. Alright, so we have Villager, Sheik, and Moth. I think I'll go with Moth. Let's just, uh, yeah. Stupid! That was fun. Alright, let's go onwards and upwards. Do you think it's disrespectful to get rid of a spirit using their spirit? Little do you know, this is just how a, an online Zelda plays anyway. And he's dead! First of all, we need to respec completely for an advanced spirit such as this one. And we're gonna switch off of Kirby, get my controls back while I'm at it. And switch to someone more appropriate for this job, Mario. Mario! I do need to be careful about this guy because he can still lay the hurt on me by being big. Alright, I need to just finish him off now. There we go, that'll do the trick. That opens up that area, but I'm not going to go down there just yet. This is another super armor spirit, but I have a very particular plan against this one. Uh, I will need a certain item. I suppose I can have a boomerang. That works. And then we will just have a throw item spirit. Yeah, look at that. Easy. You really just parry the boomerang? That's just petty. <laughs> Good job. I'm gonna need to respec a little though, I think. Get a banana gun. I guess I'll have an impact run. That might help. There you are. Perfect. That took care of none of them. That's sad. Okay, never mind. I don't know what happened to that one. Victory! We're doing good for time, I think. Oh, boy. Alright, this is a novice spirit. Which means we need to bust out this one again. And yeah, I think we'll just go with the banana gun and try and snipe them both. Go! It didn't work. It's fine, I'll just double F smash, that works too. You're probably wondering why I'm using spirits at max level and why I wouldn't ban them all. It was because in initial runs I did, and it made it just about impossible. So I need to give myself some bit of a chance here. And then we'll go back to the trusty fire and explosion attack thing. So that way our forward smash will kill her. You, you dare use my own spells against me, Potter. Maybe I just need to use Flood. <laughs> or that could happen. Let's see what I can do in the skill tree. Ooh, I can, I can upgrade both of these. Nice. Yeah, I am allowing the skill tree for this. Make things a little bit easier on myself. Victory! 
Riveting. You know what? Let's go full out into weapon attack. And then what I think I'll do is I'll give this one to Marth. Fire and explosion resist spirit won't hurt either. And then just in case, we'll give him a Mr. Saturn to try and break Samus' shield. Alright, Marth, you're up. Oh shit. Oh shit. Thank god Samus' up smash is god awful. There we go. Dancing blade to victory. Alright, now we have a master spirit, which means all bets are off. Let's get the Ginginator back out. You know what? Let's just double down on the uh, giant. It it should, in theory, make it easier to get tippers. <laughs> the shrink gave me the tipper hitbox. That's brilliant. Alright, we've unlocked the caves, but that's not really much of a selling point right now. In the meantime, I need to deal with charge and chucks. What would be useful in a situation like this? I guess just going full attack with impact run? I mean, I guess that works. They do run at me. I will delegate this back to Mario, though. He's good with charge and chucks. Yeah, I'll just run straight through you. No need for a dash attack. Oh, double kill. That's what we like to see. Honestly, just same strat on Farfetch should do the trick. There we go. Beam sword again. Hmm. I could go this way and unlock Olimar, but that means having to deal with this. Which, mind you, I could just employ the Ginginator stat again. And just double giant my way to victory. And I do get a bit of extended time in the giant state, so... It's not like I've got too big an issue, except for now, maybe. Oh, the Pikmin extended the hitbox. Victory! Wasn't even scared. Alright, let's go unlock you. That was fun. Victory! Uh, deal damage to shields. That'll do. We'll just go up here and get some more skill spheres. Delicious. And I might as well clear the mushroom area out while I'm here. Oh, they keep missing the upbeat. Never mind, I'll just take a warp star to the face instead. Oh, this could get rough. Mind you, I suppose there is a way to do this, and that's by going full lightweight. And then I delegate this to Marth, because he's the fastest of our boys so far. That way, we're always fast enough to catch this thing. I think I might have made myself a little too fast here. There we go. That's that's got it. <laughs> Throw enough smash attacks. One of them's eventually gonna hit. Lucky sticky floor immunity is on the cards. I guess we'll just have a ray gun. <laughs> we'll just we'll just bring a gun into battle. Why the hell not? This is a valid tactic, by the way. Them tippers, they'll get you. So all that leaves is to get rid of the spirits in this area and unlock Pac-Man. That's it, just keep him at bay. Shit, I'm out of ammo. <laughs> Yeet! Alright, now we need to get ourselves Pac-Man. I think we'll go classic routine giant form to victory. I know you might be thinking, oh, it's not legitimate if you're just doing giant. Uh, we're gonna have a lot of instances where we're gonna lose fighters, so trust me, we want to at least get them back just as easily. That opens up the military base, but Galeem, being an egotistical bastard, doesn't like that. And sends a giant enemy in there to face, which I'm not going to do right now. Oh, endless smash holding, gimme that. I'm going to hold off to try and get this, because there's one particular fight that that might be useful. In the meantime, let's go to the might team. I guess I'll just equip a banana gun, and uh, we'll just throw Olimar into the cannon fodder file. 
All right, almost throws a good for this. Just yeet. When have you ever seen Olimar dash attack kill someone? Alright, the military base is that way, but I'm not going to go that way. I'm going to get some stronger characters before I go that way. In the meantime, it's back to the tried and true method. Uh, you know what? Let's give Pac-Man a run through this one. Mega Hydrant. What happened to Corrin? What happened to Corrin? I'm gonna have to look at that back in editing because I might just laugh if it was funny enough. <laughs> I think we're gonna venture off this way because there are a few good things we can do in here. Sounds about right to me. Nice hit. Careful. Don't wanna don't wanna get hit by any of the things in the water. There's a character there, which I presume is Donkey Kong. Let's go aim for him, shall we? You know, honestly, this might just work. <laughs> just a tiny little hit of dash attack. And that did just enough to gimp Diddy. Oh, hey, I got the thing again. Oh, wait, no. <laughs> I guess not. I was wondering what killed him, and then I realized the thing could spike in the air. Alright, let's go deal with Venusaur. Yeah, I think just three poison reduce things will do alright. And, uh, let's get Kirby back into the fold. Jeez, he can reach real far with that. Oh my god! Well, okay, I guess that happened. Kirby's in the graveyard now. And I really need to respec. I think I'm gonna need Olimar for this one, just so that I don't lose an important character. And I need to respec my spirits entirely. Yeah, let's get a bomber equipped, so that way, if I get him caught in the blast... Oh wait, no, I don't need- I don't want a bomber, do I? I want a bob -omb. yes! That'll do the trick. Ready? Go! Good start. I think I just need to let them do as much damage as they can. Oh, it's such a leap of faith being, like, above Ivysaur in any capacity. There we go. Kirby couldn't do it, but Olimar could. Work that shit out. This could go badly, but whatever. But as long as I stay up on these platforms, I'll be okay, I think. I only need to get rid of Lucina to win, so... I have that going for me, at least. My only problem here is that Palutena, being Palutena, is being extremely annoying. I think I might take my second L here. Yep. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I might just have to rely on a zinger. Alright, Pac-Man. Pac I'm, I'm hoping that you'll pull through for me here. This is already going much better. Why didn't I just do this from the beginning? I'm ready for you. Okay. This has gone slightly downhill since we started. We need to get Donkey Kong, like, yesterday. We we'll need to get this, because that'll be invaluable. Alright, thankfully, I can just use this. And then equip this, and then... Just equip that. Oh, wait, no. Equip this, there we go. That'll do the trick. <laughs> he looks so funny moving this slow with impact run. All right, I have to have to do this to move around. There we go. Wasn't too big an issue. So you're telling me none of my attacks there hit him? All right, that 
that rectifies things a little, though. All right, give me my boy. Yes. We need our tried and true method combined with our new transformation duration buff. This should be a quick and easy unlock. In theory, at least. My boy is on the team. Alright. What do we do from here? Road? But luckily, we can just repair the bridge immediately. Ha ha. I'll come back to you later. Just later. Alright, let's try doing this. And we'll do that. No, that's not gonna work. We need a banana gun. That'll do. Go! That didn't hit any of them. I'm sad. <laughs> hearing, hearing the tiny incineral KO cry is so funny. I don't like the Red Pikmin's seductive pose. We could just try the banana gun strat again. Get on the floor. There you go. Oh boy. I need to be careful here. Die. <laughs> that was so powerful it made Pac-Man stunned. Let's get rid of you guys. Sir, so, this is a Wendy's. Look at that. Look at that Hydra play. Alright, now that I've got it down to just one, Wendy. I win. Now I just need to throw Beetle to the side. Using the tried and true method. Die. Alright, Beetle's shop is open, but I don't really need anything from him right now. Alright. That should be perfect. That's not a bomb. This is a bomb. Get this. Nom nom nom. Oh. <laughs> she was just hiding in a chest the whole time. That's kind of morbid when I think about it. I'll put floaty jumps on to make it easier on myself and then have a critical health attack on. Sounds good to me, I think. Oh, the drift along with the hydrant? Let's go. Oh, I think Wispy Woods, like, drifted me into Jigglypuff. He's like, I got him for you. All right, I think we need one suitable final boss for the video, or at least for the session. And that, of course, has to be... Rayman. I might have to go with the giant thing again, because that's the only way I see myself getting past them in a hurry. And I would risk Donkey Kong, but... I don't know, it's like... I'd rather get rid of characters that I know I can afford to lose. Let's just give it a go. This is gonna be tough. Rayman is a notoriously hard spirit if you're not careful. Not least because of the pink demon Sukapon. Who I just completely obliterated there. Alright, I got a good lead on him. This is good. I think if I can deal with him before Sukapon comes back, then I might stand a chance. There we go. You know, that probably wasn't as suitable a final boss as it sounds. So, I think you know what it's time for. Let's go all the way down here. And towards the boss. It's fitting that this is a final boss for the session. So now we have to think about this long and hard. Pretty much anything goes for this, so... We just need a nice, good run. Honestly, I think I might try Moth for this one and then Pac-Man. Because I can at least counter her moves. And if that doesn't work, then... I, I don't know what I'm gonna do from there. 
Oh, it's a timed stamina battle, too. I'm glad I got that memo first. She's just trying to style on me. What the hell is this? I think this might be where Moth gets his last stand. Oh, wait. Raygun. She intercepted me so goddamn hard. All right. Uh, attempt number two, and it's going to be Pac-Man. Honestly, Armor Knight might be a good idea for this. Sometimes the best offense is a good defense. Oh my god, those plays! So clean! I'm concentrating so goddamn hard right now, you have no idea. Why do you have a final smash, you fuck? Thankfully it didn't kill me, but... Oh shit! Damn it! That was the worst way to lose Pac-Man. He went down swinging, but I think I've got the right idea. The problem is I have to risk either Mario or Donkey Kong. And I think I know which one I'm gonna have to risk. Yeah, you're not every online Zero Suit ever. Come on, DK. Use your Master Swordsman skills. Yes! Oh, that was so good. We lost two fighters in the process, but I feel a little better now. Let's go back into the skill tree one more time and see what we can upgrade. Let's put this in for now, and we'll just call it there. Well, I don't know how long that was, but I think we're gonna leave things here, because, uh, goddamn. We've done okay so far. We've lost four characters, but we had six unlocked. And once we get four more, we'll be getting the DLC characters, too. So we have a bit more to play with. But I think I'm gonna leave it here for this session. So, throw us a like if you enjoyed, subscribe for more, and I'll see you when I pick this thing up. Take care now.